starting. I'll be speaking for the Santa Monica Police Department will be Jacqueline Seabrooks, J A C Q U E L I N E S E A B R O O K S. Public information officers for setting up what we're about to hear. The background on this story, in case you're just joining us, before they give us the details, this afternoon in Santa Monica, right about the noon hour, there was a fire at a home. Police found two people dead inside that home, they tell us. Then there was a shooting outside that home. Then a shooting on a college campus. Multiple people were injured. At least five are said to be in hospitals. We believe that another person died in those shootings. We know that this man shot up a vehicle with people in it. They found injured people in that. We know he shot at a bus. And we have absolutely no idea yet what his motive was. But we can tell you that witnesses say he was dressed in black, looked like a SWAT team member, and was a terrifying sight on a college campus today. Listen. I'm Jacqueline Seabrooks, the chief of the Santa Monica Police Department. And before I provide information regarding today's tragic events, on behalf of the city of Santa Monica, I want to express my sorrow um, to the families of those killed or injured as a result of uh, the suspect's actions. I also want to thank the array of federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies and fire service agencies who responded to assist the Santa Monica Police Department and the Santa Monica City College Police Department. Uh, and those agencies include, but aren't limited to, the FBI, the ATF, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, the Los Angeles Police Department, and quite an array of other um, municipal police agencies. And my apologies for to those agencies uh, that I don't name uh, just uh, for the sake of time at this point. Um, I want to take a moment to ensure that our community and the listening audience today understands that today's incident is not a co uh, college or school shooting. It's rather a series of shootings that occurred in the city of Santa Monica and culminated with a shooting incident that occurred at Santa Monica College. Today at approximately 11.52 a.m., a mere four hours ago, the police department received a call of shots fired in the 2000 block of Yorkshire. Uh, that's in the eastern end of the city of Santa Monica. Responding officers encountered a structure fire, uh, and the fire department uh, subsequently responded to put that out. Um, we received information at the same time of a possible carjacking that may have been related to the shots fired call. Uh, and we also re were receiving uh, incoming calls regarding a series of random shootings, uh, possibly involving an automatic uh, firearm of some type. Uh, that was later found to be, uh, told to us to be an AR-15. Uh, the random account encounters that the suspect had as he moved west along Pico Boulevard um, culminated with a, sh a series of shootings. Uh, the sh one shooting occurred at, uh, in the area of 20 and Pico. Another uh, occurred in the area of Cloverfield and Pico. And then um, we had a shooting uh, in the area of 20th and Pearl, which is immediately adjacent to Santa Monica College. Santa Monica. Uh, in the area of Santa Monica College, the suspect shot at a passenger vehicle and also at a police vehicle. Um, not long thereafter, he was seen by responding officers from both the Santa Monica College Police Department and the Santa Monica Police Department. There was an exchange of gunfire at that time, and the suspect attempted to evade the officers by running onto the college campus. Uh, as he ran onto the campus, additional uh, shots uh, were exchanged. No officers were injured at that time. The suspect headed toward the library. Uh, shot a woman on the campus just before entering the library, accosted a number of patrons inside the library, and attempted to shoot at them. Those individuals were able to uh, find um, uh, safety in a safe location inside the library. However, he continued to shoot at them. The officers came in and directly engaged the suspect, and he was shot and killed on the scene. The information we have indicates at this point that as many as half a dozen victims were shot and killed and several more were injured. And I've recently been informed that another uh, victim uh, recently died at the hospital. I have to say again, this investigation is in its infancy. It occurred uh, just a short four hours ago. We are still in our investigative phase. Uh, the search and securing of the college is almost complete. The search is being handled by 11 multi-jurisdictional, multidisciplinary, meaning police and fire teams that are uh, attempting to secure the entire footprint of Santa Monica College. Uh, the suspect in this incident has yet to be identified, but he's described as being a male white, 25 to 30 years of age approximately. He was wearing all black clothing and what appears to be a ballistic vest. We have a subject of interest in custody pending our ability to affirmatively connect that subject to evidence that was found on the scene. Uh, so what that translates to is we are not convinced 100% uh, that the suspect uh, who was killed uh, operated uh, in a solo or a lone capacity. At this time, we're not identifying any victims pending the ability to notify their next of kin. 
Uh, as a side note, I want to say that these shooting incidents occurred within close proximity to uh, two area schools, both John Adams Middle School and Edison School. Uh, the schools were locked down for the safety of students and faculty. Parents seeking to reunite with uh, those students uh, are to go to the 1600 block of 16th Street to the uh, Santa Monica Unified School District's administrative offices. I say that although uh, at this point we know that the schools uh, have been released, um, but in case anyone did not hear, that's, that's where they were to go. I'm now going to turn over the, the microphone to uh, Santa Monica Pol uh, City uh, College Police uh, Chief Al Albert Vasquez. Sorry, Chief, can you just tell us how many incidents total today? That's still under, we're still uh, investigating that. It's, when we look at it, it is a series of uh, consecutive uh, incidents. Um, so it's fair to say it's more than one, it's as many as six, but we also know that other people may be coming forward. But let me turn it over to Chief Vasquez, and then I will give you a few minutes and take a few questions after all three, both Chief Vasquez and Chief Ferguson, have had an opportunity to provide their statements. My name is Al Vasquez and I'm the Santa Monica College Police Chief. As Chief Seabrooks has just mentioned, this is an active and ongoing investigation. This is not a school shooting and began off campus. We also want to make, on behalf of the Santa Monica uh, College, our condolences known for the victims of this terrible tragedy. Our police officers were hearing the incidents off campus but the situation seemed to be flowing and moving toward the college. They heard a shot fired near the campus and responded to the area of parking lot one, which is on the east side of the college. They saw who they perceived to be a suspect running uh, after uh, through the liberal arts building toward the library. Our officers were joined by Santa Monica City Police officers and they engaged in a and they engaged the suspect as he entered the library. They were able to engage the suspect inside the library where he was fatally wounded. There was an additional victim on the campus who was transported to the hospital. The college has been cleared of any additional suspect or about 90% certain and all classes were canceled for the day. The college will be setting up a special hotline for any of our students seeking counseling assistance during this tragic incident. And we are also going to be staffing our psychological services office to assist any of our students. We anticipate both a phone number and the psych services offices to be operational soon. Of course, we still have to clear the campus. Once again, on behalf of Santa Monica College, we are sending our condolences to the victims of this tragic event and want to reassure our campus community that this began off campus and it was unfortunate that the suspect chose SMC to continue his crimes. Finally, thank you to the wonderful Allied Agency's response to Santa Monica College to assist us. Now I'd like to turn it over to Scott Ferguson, the fire chief. Was it a Santa Monica Spanish, police sir, officer who shot and killed him? Let's get to Adam Housley now who's live on scene. Adam, uh, significant updates here. Yeah, absolutely, Shepard. Now we're being told so four people are dead, all told, counting the gunmen. Two of them not far from me where this all began at that home where he walked out in tactical gear. The house was burning. He shot the first victim in the car there. We're told she will be okay. She was shot in the shoulder. Then he came to this location here, Shepard. They're still processing this scene behind me. So as we heard from the, the police press conference, he came here and to a couple, one other location before getting to the junior college just down the street. Santa Monica City College is the name of that junior college there. And that's where he shot another victim there. We We've been told again that six victims total were shot. We know one of them died in a hospital. It was a female victim. They did not give us a name, of course, pending the notification of her family. And then he was shot in the library and killed. So the fact that they got to him going into that library, as you've been as you've been reporting all day, Shepard, this was the finals time of the year. The, the, the campus has 30,000 students, so it was incredibly crowded at this time. Uh, it's remarkable that more people were not injured from this, Shepard. Adam, we're hearing more about the fire at that home from the fire chief. Listen. Uh, while conducting a primary search, uh, we found multiple victims. It was clear that they were fatalities, and as such, in order to preserve the crime scene, our firefighters mitigated the fire and backed out in order to preserve evidence. Uh, there were multiple victims. They were treated by both Santa Monica Fire Department paramedics as well as our partners in Culver City, Beverly Hills, and Los Angeles. Um, three went to um, Ronald Reagan UCLA Hospital in critical condition 
and as has been reported, excuse me, um, one has since expired. Um, three victims were also with minor injuries uh, sent to Santa Monica Hospital. As part of a unified command structure, our fire department continues to work closely with our law enforcement partners. Um, our fire paramedics were part of the initial sweep uh, of the college campus. Uh, that's all we have at this point. Were they shot in the hospital? Uh, I, I can't report that because it's under investigation. Six Thank you. Coming to us out of California, police have just confirmed there is an active shooter. Okay, very, on the thank you very much. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to answer a few questions. I understand you have a, a, a hundred of them, but just bear with us. Ask them one at a time. We're only going to take a few to try and get what you need, and then we will be coming back in a couple of hours. Okay? If you have some in Spanish, would be appreciated for the First Spanish all, media, please. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Could you repeat the question, please? No, that was not on campus. That was in a series of uh, circumstances moving through the community and culminated with the shooting on the campus. Six, six but six are killed? Uh, as many as. Any, or any of them on campus other than the suspect? One woman was shot on campus. That, and she's saying she's pronounced dead? No, we don't have that information just yet. That six would include the, the person we believe to be the suspect? No, that would not. Would not. So, six saw? dead plus the suspect? As many as, yes. As many as Can you yes. clarify the, the person who was detained, how is he, what's his involvement in that's what the investigation is going to tell us. We don't know uh, just yet uh, the extent of the involvement, if in fact there is any, with respect to this person. And that's why he's being detained, so that we can obtain that information. And once we have it, we'll know what an appropriate course of action is so from there. How many people dead at this hour? At this hour, it appears at least a half dozen are dead, and as many as two or three are injured. Information is still coming in as as this is unfolding, and we're still fairly early in this. How many in the house? Nobody on last, in last the school, suspect, but are you concerned seven. about bombs? I'm sorry, I can only take one question at a time. How I'm many sorry? in the house? Are, how, how certain are you that things are safe now? Uh, you're saying 90 percent, but are you sure that there's no nobody else out there? Or are you searching for bombs? Any other? Well, what we're, we're going to do is get together the rest of this information and bring it to you as the newscast continues. And should anything else develop, we'll have live coverage. In addition, the trial of Trayvon.